This is my writing time. Your writing time? I devote an hour a day to my novel. Perhaps if you did the same, your blog might be coherent. I've read serial killer diaries with better punctuation. I write in my voice. It's my truth. It's what my followers love. Your followers are clearly imbeciles. Ah! Don't mess with me. This kitty's got claws and I'm not afraid to use them. She's been smothering me with hospitality. I hope to return the favor in her sleep. Oh, you must be the psychopath they let in. And you must be the self-appointed queen bee. Interesting thing about bees, pull out their stingers and they drop dead. I understand you've written three novels about a teen girl detective, Viper de la Muerte. Can you tell me about her? Viper is smart, perceptive, chronically misunderstood. Editors are short-sighted fear-based life forms. One once described my writing as gratuitously morbid and suggested I seek psychiatric help. How did you take that? I sent her a thank you. You talk about not making waves, she's a tsunami. Just because I beat you at your own game, let me save you the trouble. I'm not interested in joining. You're seriously turning us down? Can you believe it? Untie her. I freed myself five minutes ago. Do you want a matching black eye? One thing about me, I'm the baddest. Winston's my only friend, and if she's in trouble, I've got to help her. It's Hive Code. Like the number one source of benevolent gossip. Yo, Enid, you're not gonna believe the dirt I heard about your new room. She eats human flesh. Totally chowed down on that kitchen. You better watch your back. Quite the contrary. That's thing. Is he like your pet?
Hey, Freak, this is close practice. <laughs> the only person who gets to torture my brother is me. So much love that the whole thing feel like a lie. Don't need nobody. Don't need nobody. Don't need nobody. Don't need nobody. You see me breathing Standing here without you And I can see it's midnight Wednesday Adams, what a lovely surprise Miss Thornhill, this is Tyler Galpin brought a gun to a sword fight probably the first smart decision you've made today <laughs> it don't matter if she's battered butchered or breathless wednesday's always gonna get her licks in and it was delicious you have no idea who it's coming
I deserted it while my sanity was still intact. Yeah? You want a coffee? It's one of the many perks of this wonderful assignment. I'm actually here for Kyra.